Well, it was the Saturday before Christmas, 2014. Not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. Problem is, my customer's ground fault safety receptacles will not stay on with their Christmas lights plugged into it. Let me explain to you what's happening. The ground fault safety interrupter, that's the receptacle you've got that's got the test and reset button in it. It's designed to protect you from getting electrocuted. It's constantly monitoring to make sure you stay safe and don't get electrocuted. Problem with that is, that ground fault safety receptacle does not have eyes. It cannot tell the difference between you standing in a pool holding on to an extension cord and a little bit of water getting into the bulb sockets of your Christmas lights. And or you could have frayed <coughs> you could have a frayed wire on your Christmas lights cuz they're old. Or you could have a staple in those Christmas lights stuck into a hot conductor and into the tree. What's happening is you've got a little bit of voltage leaking. And that ground fault safety interrupter is going to trip in four one thousandths of a second, protecting you from getting electrocuted. Now, the problem and the nuisance with that is your Christmas lights. Your sprinkler system, and especially for us, in the last couple days, we got pounded with a lot of rain. The streets are still wet. There's still water standing in the streets. Water gets into the little socket. Your light bulbs are sticking up like this on the roof of the gutter. Water gets in there, and that's like a little cup. And that GFI is sensing a little bit of voltage leaking and it's going to trip. It's gonna do this all the time. That's what its purpose is, that's what it's designed for. Okay, there's a couple of ways around it. One is you've gotta get extension cords and plug in all your Christmas lights and run them to a non-GFI protected receptacle, which means running a plug in through a window into your living room or bedroom. But if your house was built in the last 20 years or so, then you're going to have all of your garage receptacles and all of your outdoor receptacles are going to be protected by the GFI. I know, it's a pain in the butt. It's a nuisance. There's another way around it, of course. And that would be if we were to remove the GFI completely take it out of the system problem with that is, is you're not gonna be uh, covered under the electrical code because the code requires them and you take a small risk of someone using those receptacles and getting electrocuted if you don't have a swimming pool and you are aware of this situation and you're willing to take this small calculated risk I'm okay with that personally. Most of the homes built before the 80s, their outdoor receptacles, even if they have them, are not gonna be GFI protected. So that's a way to get rid of the nuisance. The other nuisance is, or the other way to get rid of the problem is to wait for those Christmas lights to dry out or find where the nail or staple is in the wires. That's not very practical. And then if it rains again, or if your sprinkler system kicks on again, well, guess what happens? It's gonna happen again. I probably get about three calls a day for the last couple weeks before Christmas with this same thing. So, hope that explains to you what's going on and what's happening. And give me a call if you want some help. It's Jeff Wiseman pulling up to my next customer's house with the GFIs that are tripping. 
See you next time.